Well, you'll all remember me from Ivan's Shed, and I've had so much feedback. So I've got this young man who I helped go motor racing. I met him about two years ago. And like all young people these days, he can work a computer. I told him the problem that Christian had moved on and we weren't doing it anymore. And I made quite a lot of emails and things wondering whether I was ill. But obviously I'm not ill and I'm still doing what I've always done. So anyway, Josh, although he's probably not as proficient as uh, Christian, he's going to have a go. So we're going to have Ivan Shed 2 and I can bring you up to date on what's happened because we were just about to buy a Ferrari when Christian stopped doing it. So that's quite interesting. I've finished the trials car and um, the old Lotus 7 is going better and better. So hopefully, I mean, Josh is not going to be here every five minutes, but once a month or I can keep you up to date. At least you can see what I'm up to. And you never know, we might be getting as good of it as what we did with Christian. But he might be like a mad raccoon with a camera to start with, but we'll see. I thought we've got to give it a go because we've had so much feedback and so many people think I'm ill or I've died. Well, I haven't died. I haven't had Corolla and I've had two jabs. So there we are. And it hasn't affected me in any way. So if you're worried about having a jab, just go and get it done. You may remember that in the previous videos I mentioned that we were building this Samson up as a files car. The original chassis is actually a matching number car, but anyway, we decided that that would be the thing to do. So we've um, we've given it the plenty bounce. And I've started it up and I've run it and I've driven it round the field. Um, but it seems very good. I have driven it round the field and it, it seems to have loads of torque and it's poor little push rod engine that you think wouldn't work, works like a dream. So that's another job we've done and we hope to make some videos perhaps of us doing a trial, but here we go, I don't know. You see, my dad was involved with Samson's and I just love Samson's. But the twin cam engine is the engine really. But prior to that, they made a four push rod engine, which when you think about it, how can you move eight valves with four push rods? But what they did was they opened the exhaust valve mechanically and then the inlet valve sort of fell off the cam and there were two springs that were stronger than the valve springs, which overcome the valve spring and opened the inlet. Sounds a bit complicated, but it works. Well, because it's still got a hemispherical head exactly the same as the twin cam. So for all intents and purposes, it could be a very talky little engine, which is why I thought it would be a good idea. Anyway, we bought this car as a matching lumber car, but it didn't, you know, it was, hadn't been off the road since, well, it's been in the country since 72. But anyway, we bought it, got it going, and here it is. We, the idea was to spend as little money as possible. We didn't put any new bits in the engine. You know, I had a load of old spares and we built it up from spares and everything is quite cheap. Even the headlamps came from uh, Car Builder Solutions. I think they were 20 quid each, but I think they looked perfect. The radiator was a big problem, but we overcome that by making the radiator ourselves, which sounds impossible, but we managed to do it. Um, and there we are. But it is a talky little car. And I've only driven it round the field because we haven't been out on the road yet. Oh, I'll be able to shut the body if the car's clever enough. Right, here we go. Another interesting thing about this little car is there's no actual positive oiling to the rockers. And I read a period report and it said every, I think it was 200 miles, you have to oil it. Well, I don't think I'm going to leave it 200 miles. But anyway, another little interesting thing is this. This old oil can was Jack Lemon Burton's. Jack Lemon Burton's was a very famous Bugatti man and he was a real smashing old boy. I didn't know him terribly well because he was old when I really got to know him. 
but he was a lovely bloke. And anyway, I managed to buy a load of stuff from somebody when he died. I bought a lot of bits and pieces, and in amongst it was this oil can. And I've got a lovely picture of old Jack oiling one of his model steam trains. But anyway, I love using it, because I always think of Jack when I'm using it. But what they reckon was that you oiled, you oiled all these bits separately. Every 200 miles, I think it was. Well, I reckon every, you know, I'm going to roll it much more often than that. And then it all runs down and into the rocker and that's it. this car's got. Look, it's kicking over. And when you're on wet grass, on a slippery old trials course, and you've got the power, you don't want to spin the wheels, you want to get that power low down. And of course this car's got a solid axle, so it hasn't got a diff, so that'll help immensely. And of course, being able to have torque like that, ticking over, is most important. We're not going for power, we're going for torque. Notice they've got a bit of rag. My dad used to say, you can always tell a good mechanic, he always has a bit of rag to wipe his hands. But that is amazing, I can't believe that. In fact, we could probably leave it here, out here to run in, really, couldn't we? Could we just leave it for a couple of days and it would be nicely run in? I know you're all waiting for it to suddenly speed up and disappear through the hedge with all of us running after it. You'll probably get a million views then, but I can tell you what, that ain't gonna happen. Now the next thing of course is mounting it again. So I've got to be able to do that without falling under the back wheel or so, because again you get another million views. So this is the procedure, but I'm hoping it's gonna work. fun wasn't it <laughs> by the way we lost the video camera and we had to go and searching for it I don't know whether young Josh is going to include this in the video but uh, it was a bit of a laugh <laughs>